Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Anar and I'm a self-taught software developer. On this channel, I aim to help you break into and grow in the tech industry. Today I thought we could talk about coding boot camps in Canada and if they're worth it. So the answer to this question is now going to be the same for everyone. Let's first look at what a coding boot camp has to offer compared to what it's going to cost you. The biggest benefit of coding boot camps is that they can structure your entire learning program for you. They teach you just enough web development to get you ready for the job market. Some boot camps also help you find a job once you finish the program. Because your program is structured for you, learning in a boot camp is a lot easier than going down the self-taught route. You don't need to research what to learn and what's popular out there, the boot camp takes care of all of that for you. Learning is also a lot easier because there's always somebody there to ask a question. On the flip side, if you want to attend a coding bootcamp, you will have to give them a significant amount of your time and money. The coding bootcamps in Canada have actually gotten more expensive over the last couple of years. I remember a couple of years ago, you could attend Juno College or Lighthouse Labs for about $10,000. Nowadays, they're charging closer to 12. If you're finding this information useful, drop the video a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my future content. Another huge challenge with attending a coding bootcamp is that it requires a full-time commitment. Everything else in your life will need to be put on hold for around 3 months while you attend the bootcamp. In most cases, this means you'll need to quit your day job, which is not something everybody can afford to do. Coding bootcamps have also become very popular over the last couple of years, leading to waves and waves of bootcamp graduates flooding the job market. This has made it extremely difficult for any inexperienced programmer to find their first development job. This means once you finish the coding bootcamp, since you're unemployed, if you have bills to pay, you may have to settle for a non-programming job. And this is a point some people are not super clear on. When you attend a bootcamp, there is no guaranteed job waiting for you once you finish it. After you finish, you will still need to keep working hard to find a job in a highly competitive job market. The bootcamp will help, but they won't do everything for you. Most importantly, before you even think about attending a bootcamp, make sure you like programming. Take a cheap or free online course so that you can get introduced to programming. And if all of a sudden you discover that you hate programming, at least you won't be out $12,000. So if you tried programming and it turns out that you like it, that's great. But before you enroll into a coding bootcamp, make sure your situation allows for it. Make sure your life allows for you to drop everything for three months. For example, if you have a family or financial difficulties, it might not make sense for you to quit your job and take out a $12,000 loan. So let's come back to the original question. Are coding bootcamps worth it in Canada? If you have the discipline and perseverance to do all the research for what you need to learn, learn it and find a job yourself, I think you'd be better off going down the self-taught route. Alternatively, if you can comfortably take a few months off from school or work and put $12,000 toward your education, I think that's a great deal too. In the grand scheme of things, becoming job ready for a brand new high paying profession for $12,000 in three months is a pretty good deal. Ultimately, you will have to make the decision yourself but I hope this video will help you make an informed one. I'm going to end it here. Drop any questions you have in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one.